This is CBA. Welcome to the Heart of the Hour News Brief with me, Abdullah Hassan. A top general in Sudan announced on the state-owned television on Thursday that the ruling military council foiled a coup attempt and that so far 12 officers and four soldiers had been arrested. The announcement came as the ruling military and civilian protesters agreed last week to end a political embassy after the army in April ousted the long-time ruler Omar al-Bashir. General Jamal said that the officers and soldiers from the army and national intelligence and security service were trying to carry out a coup. He said that this was an attempt to block the agreement which has been reached by the Transitional Military Council and the Alliance for Freedom and Change that aims to open the road for Sudanese people to achieve their demands. Later on Thursday, the generalists and protest leaders went through the details of the agreement at a luxury hotel in Khartoum that went on until the early hours of Friday. Security forces are looking for the mastermind of the attempted coup. Thousands of Somali refugees are on the move after the government in Eritrea decided to close down its only refugee camp. Appealing to the government, the United Nations Refugee Agency asked authorities to continue to work with them in providing protection and solution for those seeking help in Eritrea. Concerns arose over not offering solutions for residents, some of whom have been in the camps for almost 20 years. Many of those who abandoned the camps are now in Ethiopia. The move brought an additional scrutiny on the Northeast African nation already under fire for its ongoing human rights crisis. Asmara has yet to respond to the UNHCR's appeal on behalf of the refugees. Fifteen Kenyan seafarers are captives aboard a Somalia flagged fishing vessel off the coast of the Horn of Africa country. The 15 were recruited through a Kenyan agent in April. International Transport Federation Inspector Betty McKenna on Thursday said that the agent is a fraud and he is not registered with the Kenya Maritime Authority. She said that they were working at a gunpoint like slaves and they would be leaving for Djibouti in eight days. The 15 were promised a monthly pay of US dollar $260 which is below what an average seafarer gets. The lowest paid seafarer should get 614 US dollars according to the ITF standards. One of the Kenyans has been injured in the leg and requires medical attention. Makina is worried that if this is not done in a good time, the injury could complicate the health of the seafarer. When the Kenyans got in touch with Makina and narrated their ordeals, she tried calling the owners of the ship, but the numbers provided in the contract is never went through. Libya is demanding answers from France as French missiles were found at a base used by renegade military commander Khalifa Haftar, whose forces are fighting to take over the capital Tripoli. The foreign minister of Libya, Mohamed Tahir Ziala, on Thursday asked his French counterpart, Chien, to urgently explain how the missiles believed to be French were found to be in Haftar's forces. He seeks answers on how and why they were delivered. Cialo also demanded to know the number of weapons in Libya as reports indicate that it contradicts the French government's declaration. France has denied supplying the weapons to Haftar, stating that French forces operating in the war torn country had lost track of them after they were charged to be defective. The United Arab Emirates has started a phase it but speedy withdrawal of troops from Yemen. This constitutes a blow to Saudi war, which is the signature initiative of Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman. In the past months, the Emirates have cut down their deployment around Hodeida by 80% to fewer than 150 men. They have pulled out their attack helicopters and heavy guns, effectively precluding a military advance on the city. That's our news brief for this time. Thank you for watching us. I'm Abdullahi Hassan.